speak to you all today about intimidation within a gym environment, aka gym intimidation, um, because we've all been there and it comes in so many forms, so we've all experienced it in one way or another, and it may be a newcomer to training, coming to the gym, worrying, am I doing it right, do I look okay, is my form and uh, my technique correct, it may be a girl doing squats, feeling um, insecure and intimidated that maybe a guy is watching her while she's performing the exercise, similarly it may be a guy training and thinking, is that girl watching me, am I strong enough, um, am I big enough? Sorry, there was a fly coming at my head. And then we also have the girl on girl or guy on guy intimidation of are they watching me? Am I wearing the right clothes? Like, are they judging me? And I feel like that's one that we forget about when actually, I think that's the worst out of it all. Feeling like a group of girls is watching you and maybe talking about you or judging you in some way is a horrible feeling. And when you have an idea in your head that I want to go to the gym to lose weight, to get fitter, to get stronger, to get bigger, whatever your goal may be, getting to the gym is one thing, and then sometimes there are these factors that can still put you off or make you feel like you can't work towards your goal, when actually we're all there for the same reason, and your goal may be to get fitter, to get stronger. We may all differ in that aspect, but we're all there to get better in one way or another. So this is what blows my mind. And I listened to an interesting talk from Jamie Alderson the other week, um, who talks so much sense. If you don't subscribe to his social media accounts, I definitely recommend it. Um, but he was talking about how we all have this worry and this consciousness that other people are watching us and other people are judging us, when in actual fact, we're all just worrying about ourselves. So you may think that somebody else is watching you or judging you, but in their head, actually they're thinking, are they watching me? Are they judging me? So it's all just something that we play out in our heads, when in actual fact, there's nothing to be worried about everybody's focusing on themselves and everybody's just there to better themselves. Especially in girls, we should be pushing each other and empowering each other, as people say. Like, I've made it almost like a little goal in my head that every day I will compliment someone, whether it's a girl or guy, I don't care, to say to someone, hey, like, you smashed your session, fair play, you've worked hard, or great legs or you know whatever it is like you have no idea how much of an impact it will have on someone's day and I bet you you will make their day and as I say you have no idea what it may do for their confidence or their mindset and someone may be struggling and you've just given them that little boost or the push that they need and it doesn't cost a thing to be nice to someone as I say especially in girls it's the worst thing when you feel like somebody is watching you and giving you a horrible look and judging you. So why not change the stereotype and be nice for no reason? It goes so far just to start speaking to someone and get to know someone, find out what they're working towards and make their day just for no reason at all. And I say this because I used to be that shy, intimidated person in the gym when I started out. I remember when I first got into training properly, I used to hide away in a studio and take all of my equipment and back myself into a corner of a studio so that nobody could see me. And I was so conscious that people were watching me and if I was doing it right, if I was working hard enough, and then slowly, as my knowledge built and my confidence built in what I was doing, I would start to do things in the main gym area. And then before I know it, I think about four years on we are now, I walk around the weights area like I own the place. And it's not arrogance, 
it's me just being in the zone and wanting to smash out my session and work as hard as I can. I don't care if I don't look the best in the room, but I want to be the person working hardest and that is all I care about. And I remember when I first started out, a member of staff at David Lloyd at the time, um, I was dieting down for when I did Physique of the Week, as I say this is years ago now, just a competition that I decided to enter to try and get sponsored. Um, he came up to me when I was in the last couple of weeks of competition prep and asked me if my boyfriend still found me attractive and um, if I liked the way I look and told me that I looked like a boy. Um, and I was absolutely mortified. I think I cried. Um, and that killed me at the time. I look back on that now and if somebody spoke to me that way now, I'd tell them where to go. And I would know with hindsight that it would be down to their insecurities and their attitude is just so out of order. I, I cannot put into words. It makes me angry even thinking about it. But I feel sorry for that person now. And you know what? Karma came back round to bite him. I think he got sacked a couple of months later because of how he spoke to another member. Um, but in a way, I thank him for behaving that way because it has taught me so many lessons that I will never ever let somebody feel that way and I will never make somebody feel that way through not thinking and not considering other people's feelings um, if you haven't been through some kind of diet or competition prep you have no idea how it feels and yeah you know what maybe I did get a little bit too skinny that time round because I didn't have enough muscle on me but you know what that is none of your business that's my decision. If that's what I want to do, that's what I'm going to do. And if you're not going to support someone in achieving their goals, if you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. That is it. And because of that, I will, as I say, I'll work to compliment someone every day. I want to make someone feel good about themselves, make their day, and inspire them and motivate them to push on and push harder and work that hard every day and I'm so lucky to now be in an environment out here in Australia training at Doherty's where it is like one big family everybody pushes each other everyone supports each other you talk about how your session was if you're struggling during a session before you know it, someone will come over and ask you if you need a spot or if you need a hand. You don't have to ask. That's just the nature of the gym and the atmosphere that the team have worked to build. And it is just what money cannot buy. And I say all this to say, don't let anyone pull you down. These fears that we have in our head about being in a training environment, they are just in your head. Be who you want to be, train as hard as you want to. I used to get paranoid that I was like almost too strong for a girl. This stereotype that we have that girls shouldn't be lifting weights. I used to get worried that people were looking at me because I was lifting heavier weights than some guys. But you know what? Who cares? Do you. Don't worry about anyone else. There's that saying, strong people lift each other up be that person who compliments other girls or other guys because you never know how much of an impact it may have on their day and their self-esteem and their motivation to work towards their goals. It doesn't cost anything to be nice. And to me, it just feels like one big vicious cycle that can so easily be broken if everybody just makes that small change just of being nice. <laughs> It's as easy as that. Um, and again, something else that I've read, talking about hurt people, hurting people, and that vicious cycle that goes through generations. And it kind of transfers over. 
If you're used to that negative training environment, you may develop this thick skin that then passes those negative vibes on to others and makes you want to give those horrible looks to others and fend people off for whatever reason, because that's all you know. But making that small change and making someone else's day, maybe you'll inspire that person to go and be nice to someone or pay someone else a compliment. You just have no idea how far that random act of kindness can just be that change that you want to see in the world. It's cheesy, but you know what? I don't care if one person could listen to this and take something away. It's a job well done for me.